Hi, we are going now to deal with this question of infrastructure in the nature and what is the infrastructure, how we can deal with the nature's infrastructure. Let's try to paint it and let's try to see what is the contradiction of infrastructure. And we will discover very soon that this contradiction is some kind of deconstruction which goes to, to a way of destruction. So we will see how it works and let's try to be conscious about positive aspects of infrastructure of nature. Come. So we will now try to imagine what is this infrastructure of nature and maybe we can use some neutral color that can practically help us to orient here. Try to imagine these aspects, which are more or less infrastructural and very good, that nature can offer us. Let's see what we can find here. I would say that we need more of neutral colors here because what I said that we are in the middle of of the, in, of the nature and that means that we need to think this infrastructure on the more structural way and to see how this nature is related to these infrastructural moments. I mentioned that Actually, in the past 30-40 years, we have had this story with deconstruction. And deconstruction is seen as... Uh, I mean, deconstruction is a term, is a category that Derrida was introducing into theory and philosophy. But deconstruction has to do also with the negative uh, dialectics and with Adorno and all these things which are related to this negative thinking. So deconstruction is not something wrong. It is also needed if we want to think a whole. That means that infrastructure of nature is often hijacked by deconstructive thinking, but by the deconstructive thinking that is not practically respecting the infrastructures of nature. And that is not thinking the aspects of solidarity with nature. Therefore, we have some kind of deconstruction in the last 30, 40, even 100 years, or even longer if you want to think transhistorically, that it becomes a sort of destruction. So this deconstruction turns into some kind of destruction. So we need to think then how the infrastructure of nature can be understood from its specific ideological point of view from the position of ideology, ideology of nature, from the position of nature's ideology, and to see what is needed for this. Because there is a contradiction with deconstruction, with destruction, and we we would like now to deal with those things in this image and to try to find progressive 
but uh, not progressive in the sense of technological progress or uh, progressive in the sense of production or something like that, but progressive in the sense of thinking the infrastructure's aspects and how the infrastructure of nature can function today. So let's see what it is here. It is a some kind of background. Um, we need maybe some aspects which are directly clear, which can show us the infrastructural uh, possibilities or infrastructural uh, network 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 which functions. Okay, let's see here how it is functioning. Maybe like this. We remember that that symmetry and uh, after all geometry is also an aspect of the ideology of nature. So we need to think here those aspects which are not only related to to society but also to another options. This looks quite good. Um, maybe we need a more, uh, bit of more color, and maybe this neutral green here will help us to make these infrastructural aspects more plastic and to have them practically relating from the completely another point of view which is here quite well given okay we are approaching uh, our new options here and we will try now first to see what is the ability of this of this infrastructure to to work and practically to have some symbiosis or some kind of consciousness which is growing out from this infrastructure. Maybe we will use this uh, tool uh, and try to find out the spots where this consciousness can grow. Maybe it can grow here. This is one good spot for this consciousness. Or maybe it can grow also here. This is quite well correct spot for the consciousness. Maybe this one is bigger a bit because it is light. This one is smaller, but maybe a more, more strong. So we will now try to use some light uh, in order to to see how this consciousness can can be. supported with another variant of of light ok 
Okay, this is an option that we have now. And so, and maybe we need also some few aspects of, of dark support for the infrastructure's network. Structure of the infrastructure. Which is resisting these deconstructive elements. So this is quite well now defined and I will now try to use one aspect here and to help to work out with this tool that we try to use before we start the draw. And we have all this more connected or disconnected which will bring a new aspect to this idea of infrastructure Here is a clear cut, but we will see how it works then. And we also need to support more this light uh, aspects of it before we start to draw, because they are quite unique. some kind of possibility for it to to be also independent because this consciousness needs some kind of autonomy this consciousness consciousness cannot stay so isolated and it's not just some kind of things that grow out from the infrastructure of nature or something like that it needs, it needs also its own autonomical aspects to grow and to communicate so we will now uh, start to do okay let's draw will be then quite clear what we want here it is the structure of nature It has certain symmetry. It is rather a construction than deconstruction.
and we will now try to to do it here do it this So, we are approaching to the end and we are slowly finishing it. Just few aspects here that can help us to bring this emancipation and this consciousness of the infrastructure of the ideology of nature and to see how they can grow out from this infrastructure of, of nature. So, let's see how it looks like. Well, I would say it's uh, finished. That's it. That's it. We are finished. This is how it is. Let's meet in the new session and try to imagine some other aspects.